the record. <clears throat> Welcome, comrades. This is Ice with Jim here, and today we're going to be continuing playing Tales of Berseria. Last episode, I lost connection. <laughs> but do not worry, I'm back in the game. I managed to redo everything. I managed to collect some even more items. Observe. Observe. I was able to collect earrings left and right, which I don't actually particularly like, but <laughs> I found something that is actually really, really hilarious, um, if I could find it. Oh, right, it's here. Spyglass, Louis, Pirate Brochet, Mustache. I remember seeing it. I managed to get some of the chests, and I got these eyebrows. <laughs> oh my word. I think I'll go with the mini Norman. Wait. I can even hang it upside down. Nah, I'm good. Alright, let's go. So yeah, I was able to actually complete I was able to actually catch up to where I was, which is really surprising because that usually never happened. Well, it did happen before, but not but not so common this time. So let's talk to this girl right here, see what we can find. Hey, have you heard the rumors? People are saying there's a talking penguin around. A I didn't know penguins could talk. It's true. Three people have already talked with it near the beach at night. You don't say. We should totally try to capture it. It'd be a great addition to Moggy Lou's menagerie. Well, this is no light matter here in Salt. Local oh. legend has it that when the end times come, a talking penguin will declare judgment upon the sinful. Everyone uh -oh. who's encountered this penguin has been bedridden from the sheer shock of it. Are you sure oh it's word. not just some demon? It doesn't appear to be, though it does seem to be quite aggressive. It goes Probably. after people, attacking them as it yells, I'm a medical student from Rize Maxia. Is that supposed Rize to Maxia. be its judgment or whatever? I have no idea, but whatever medical you do, student. you'd better not visit the beach at night. This is some kind of reverse psychology trick, right? All right, let's go to sleep at night. Ugh, I can't sleep. I think I'm going to head down to the beach and check things out. I'm with you. Some things just can't be avoided. You're Agreed. going to look for that talking penguin, aren't you? What makes you say that? We're just going on a walk. You're curious. <laughs> They're curious. Oh, by the way, I was able to actually upgrade some of their equipment. I've so. made my choice. I fight. Oh, uh, yeah, so I also managed to get this as well. Eleanor, are you feeling okay? Why do you ask? You always seem to enjoy eating, but today you look like you were struggling a little bit. Really? Well, I'm not sick or anything. I actually feel even better than normal. If you say so. Wait, do you just not like quiches? No, no I like them just fine. Velvet makes she them great spinach. ones, doesn't she? It's amazing when you consider she can't taste them. I've got it. You hate spinach, don't you? I suppose there's no point in denying it. <laughs> and here I thought you people would eat anything. I know a lot of people don't like carrots or bell peppers, but spinach? That's a new one to me. You think so? It's quite bitter and it's got that smell. Kind of grassy or something medicinal, or... I didn't know you were so picky. <laughs> yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, you had some trouble with the solitoma, too. It's yeah. It's actually because of the solitoma. I used to love spinach when I was little, but now it just reminds me of... Ugh, solitoma. I've had oh. to take solitoma before too, but it had the opposite effect on me. Now spinach tastes sweet by comparison. So much for the serious, mature woman. Looks like even you have some child left in you. But don't All let right. it get to you. Being a fussy eater is just another way of life. You're in charge of your own plate. Agree. I just don't like spinach. What's the big deal? Besides, I know you all hate it too. Oh. I'm talking about the spinach method. Supporting peers and achieving cohesive harmony. It's the foundation of any successful team, and you all completely <sighs> fail at it. Okay, so first, what the hell are you dribbling about? And second, I'm not going to be lectured by some wee baby who won't eat her spinach. <laughs> and you know what? I do what I want. I'm a free woman, and I don't need to live by your rules. Then Some of us just aren't cut out for team leadership. 
We'll leave that to you. You just let us each do our own thing. Am I right, Eisen? Don't be ridiculous. My word. The spinach method is the first thing every pirate learns if they want to join Eifried's crew. Sometimes <laughs> the younger sailors forget all the steps. I was just running a refresher lecture on it last night. Eleanor's on the money here. She ain't wrong. Wait, Eisen. I'm still waiting on your latest report. I haven't heard anything from you in a while now. Oh, what latest report? I, I, uh, oh, I was gonna get to that, um, tomorrow. I've had it up to here! <gasps> All right, you three. Sit down and listen. Did you not hear me? Sit down and <laughs> listen! <laughs> I don't she... need to live by your rules. Some of us just aren't cut out for it. I'll do it tomorrow. You might as well be toddlers. Our enemy is formidable and well organized. Some might even say we'd be crazy to take them on. Surely even you three can recognize that any small lapses in cohesion could bring total disaster upon us. <laughs> How did we get from spinach to a lecture on team building? <laughs> That's just. <laughs> well, where do you expect? Well, you can expect nothing less from the Lord of Calamity Look, herself. There's a penguin. Think it might be the talking one? Only one way to find out. Oh, good evening. Lovely weather, isn't it? It really talked. I can't believe it. Something I eat can talk. Huh? Wait, do you guys eat us penguins too? <sighs> Why does it matter? Good grief. Please answer my question. It's very important. I'm sorry, but yes, I eat them. Not all of I'll happily devour most anything if I have to. She loves blood. Well then, I suppose you people are just like the others who came before. I can't let you keep doing that. Oh, and what's a cutesy little penguin like you plan on doing about us big bad humans? Oh no. Uh... Oh, what the? Now that's impressive! Waterloo. Jude! What the hell are you? I'm sorry for the- No mercy! Won't that- <laughs> 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 She's not taking it! <laughs> oh, I managed to do a lot of other things with my equipment, so... <laughs> I need to change it. I need to change the <laughs> Ouch! Here, take this! Come on! Goodbye! I'll just back up and heal. Oh, what the? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Can someone please get this guy away from me? This pig gun is gonna eat me! <laughs> okay, focus on healing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Finally, that's just the results I need. Mega Hills. Here you go, darling. Have some more Mega Hills. Now those are the results I want. Alright. Nice! We got him! Nice yeah. job! I turned back into a penguin. No nice. matter. Wait, why are you so intent on fighting us when you're outnumbered? Yeah. I have to protect my fellow penguins from the likes of poachers like you. Poachers? Whoa. Poachers? We're not poachers, I swear. We just came here to see a talking penguin. Really? But then... Why did you guys say you eat penguins? That's life. Sorry, 
but I guess we should have explained more clearly. This one will eat anything. Y yeah, sorry about that. And as for me, the only pinion I ever eat is what I buy properly at the market. Yeah. We're not good people, but we're not those kinds of villains either. We are people. Oh. We are. Well, in that case, we I should apologize people, for jumping to conclusions. Either. Well, and actually, yeah, we fight. say people, but we also kill people. I just ran into some pangyon poachers earlier, and I'm afraid I'm a little on edge right now. That would explain a lot. Those must be the other people who've spotted you here. They're all sick in bed just from the shock of meeting you. Yeah. Small fries like them. I bet they'll think twice before they try to poach another animal. So, what are you then? Some special representative of Penyon kind? Probably. No, I'm Jude Mathis. I'm a medical student from Riza Maxia. A medical student from Riza Maxia? I think you're in the wrong it's in planet. a different world from yours. Actually, I'm a human just like you all, but somehow I was flung into this dimension, and when I came to, I looked like this. So hmm. basically, you're a human from another world, but when you came here, it made you turn into a pangyon? The story of yours, quite a tale. The whole thing's pretty hard to believe. It is. It certainly is. However, when I was lost and confused, the pangyons here were kind to me and took me in as their own. Well, I wanted to repay the favor to them since they've done so much for me. Aww. So you've been protecting them from any poachers who come. But don't you have bigger things to worry about right now? Looks to me like you're too soft-hearted. She ain't wrong there. I get that a lot. <laughs> well, we've heard your story. But even if it is true, it doesn't sound like there's anything we can do for you. Don't worry about me. I'll figure out how to get home on my own, one way or another. The problem is that a friend of mine got sent to this world with me, but I haven't been able to find her. My hunch is that she's also turned into a pengyan. You haven't heard of any other talking pengyans, have you? No. Nope. Can't say I have. Sorry. Oh, okay. What kind of person is this friend of yours? Maybe we'll run into her later. Her name is Mila. Mila. She has pretty red eyes and long golden hair. She carries herself with dignity and possesses a commanding presence. What else? Oh, and one of her quirks is that whenever she sees something tasty, she drools. That's an interesting quirk. Yeah. You mean she actually drools? Also, she's known as the Lord of Spirits Lord because of she's accompanied by four summon spirits with command over the elements. Sounded like Ooh, for an appearance. Lord of Spirits. How royal sounding. Got it. If we hear anything, we'll let you know. It may be hard, but try to keep your spirits up, Jude. Thank you all so much. I hope you guys get a lead on Mila. Don't don't count you your eggs before the hatch. Even more than yourself. Uh, well, how do I put it? She like your fiance or something? She's just a really special person to me, I guess. Fair enough. <laughs> Wraith has a oh, receiving level four random skills and hard mode over above. Oh, mini Jude! Oh, that's actually might be kind of cute. Better than the Norman, anyway. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the norm, but a it just says so penguin. still. I didn't dream that up, right? No, no. that penguin was very real. Or rather, it seems to actually be a human named Jude. Yeah. He said he came from another world. No matter how much we see, life is still full of mysteries, isn't it? He's got guts, I'll give him that. It'd be nice if we could help him somehow. He's kind to penguins, too. If he was telling the truth, that would make him a castaway from another dimension. We seafarers always help out anyone who's adrift. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'm curious about this Mila girl, the Lord of Spirits. She might have a connection to the four Empyreans, or even Inominat himself. That would Seems be nice unlikely, to check on But I suppose anything's possible. If you could see Just Moloch case, and turn into I'll demons, I'll keep everything Jude the Penyon told us in mind. Let's take a look at this 
mini Jude. Oh. For instance, for those women with hair, act, hair's act theorem. That's actually kind of cute. I wonder what else to give Magilu, but everything else seems to be okay. I kinda like it! <sighs> okay... There's some activity in Haria Village. Why don't we check it out? See what we're getting ourselves into. Wrong way. Yeah. It's coming from here. Oh, above. Oh, hi. I moved here from Isolt. I couldn't just abandon Amino, but the Abbey and Inominat are important to me too. I just think that these traditions and beliefs... I think that's wonderful, but... I asked the exorcists in Isolt for help. They said they couldn't station any... That's pretty tolerant, coming from the people who banned Amino to worship... Those who served under Lady Teresa have a strong sense of just no one has oh. heard from Lady Teresa for some time. Well, no, that's nice to know. <laughs> What's up? All right. Sadly, the ceremonies and rituals of the Amanoch. A number of people moved to Isalt from the. This place used to be an inn. Oh. I studied Southgand hits and some ingredients. What sort of dishes? Tropical moussaka. I can't imagine. Me neither. I don't know how long it'll. I wish you luck. Um, you probably. Hmm. Oh, there's one more code island that I miss. All right, let's see. Maybe, let's check here for a sec. All right. Eloise. Nothing, 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 nothing. Mm, nothing here either. Nothing there either. Ooh. Let's see. I'm just taking a look around and see what else I missed. Hard sexing? No. No, I'm an island. Oh, by the way, I was able to get a lot of the chests, so... <sighs> I'm so close to actually completing some completing some of the chests, but I still got a long way to go. Mmm, <sighs> Cat's Corner, Lionel Island Wharf, nothing there. Okay, we went there. Park Candix. Nothing on Park Candix. <laughs> Oh! Strange activity in- Strange activity in Talzin. Let's see what's up. What's up? I know you guys. I heard you put a real dent. I take it you're a bloodwing? With all the turmoil, there's a lot of noise out there. So there was this skilled exorcist Praetor at the top of his game, yeah? Apparently... Oh? And how this pe- I know it sounds like I'm pulling your leg, but I'm serious! The Praetor said the pink- The four elements- That's not all. Oh. From what I hear, 
They call it Goldapin. All right. So the attack happened in the feet. But I gotta warn you guys. Goldapin is said to be an ominous creature. Listen, I'm telling you this for your own good. Why would you say that? Oh, now we have to check this. So it's a Pengyon with red eyes, a gold coat, and control over all four elements? That must mean... They're calling her Goldapin, huh? I've seen a lot of things out there, but never anyone who has mastered all four elements. Excluding myself, of course. <laughs> Whatever she is, mm -hmm. if she's taken down a Praetor, she might be willing to work with us. Or, you know, it could be a trap. This strengthens the case that she could be connected to the four Empyreans. Or Either maybe. way, we should probably go and find out. I'll send word to- Hold on. That might complicate the situation. We promised we'd let him know if we heard anything. I'm just staying true to our word. True. Fine. But I have my own way of doing things, too. Alright, so... Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, time to head back. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's see. Oh, I just missed a ton of shards, souls, whatever. Alright, let's see what we're getting ourselves into. Oh, it's a yeah, my That's probably for the best. Wow. That's actually cute. Look! Red eyes, golden coat, it's gold of pen, alright. And she's even got that... quirk. Be careful. If what we heard is true, she can use those four great spirits in battle. So we better be cautious. Uh, see? She's drooling. Does that mean she thinks we look... tasty? Does that mean she's a man-eating Pengyon? Wait! Don't fight! Hey! It's Jude! No matter how much Mila loves to eat, she'd never attack a person without a good reason. Huh? What's Wait. up? This Pengyon isn't Mila. Then what is it? Are you alright? When I got your message, I ran all the way here without stopping to eat or drink. That's enough. Oh. When will you people learn to leave this Pengyon alone? Whoa! Hunting for food, I could understand. But I won't allow you to take this creature's life on some flimsy notion of bad omens. If you want the Pengyons, you'll have to fight me first! That's Mila? I'm Mila Maxwell, and I'm the protector of Pengyons! So she's the one we're after! Come on! Alright, here we go. Rise! Arise! Ascending! Angel! And we go! Nice! Oh, I can't believe we're trying. Come on! Oh, this works! Oh, that's it! Oh,
That's just what I need. Okay. Alright, come on, heal, 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 heal. Oh, now that's what I'm achieving! Those beautiful, beautiful heals! That's not what I'm achieving! Ooh. Don't worry, Aizen. You're next. That's how they heal myself. Now this is what I'm trying to achieve. Oh, what the? The four elements. Was there a type of kid? Yeah, I miss she's good. No, you don't! Oh. Oh. Talk about it. Oh, that's over. Phew. You're strong. You know your way around a sword, as do you. I can see that Jude wasn't exaggerating when he called you the Lord of Spirits. Jude? Well, duh. Do you know him? I've been looking all over for him. He's right there. Well, duh. Oh, Jude! Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're safe. Mila, you can tell it's me? Of course I can. You're a lot smaller on the outside, but you're still you on the inside. <laughs> Thanks, Mila. That being said, I haven't exactly had an easy time in this form. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Yes, I can see how it might have given you some trouble. Oh? <laughs> Leia and Elise would probably be worried sick, and Alvin would tease you mercilessly. I think there's a way I can change back. When I fought these guys before, I was somehow able to do it. Yeah, huh? You fought them? So they really are a bunch of no-good Pengion abusers. We're not, I swear. It's all a misunderstanding. Agreed. It's okay, Mila. They're the ones who told me where to find you, and they're not Pengion abusers. Oh, all right then. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go jumping to the wrong conclusions about you. But I gotta admit, she does give us a good warm-up. Everyone, thank you so much for reaching out to me. No problem. No need to thank us. We just did the same as anybody would. Ex. I'm glad you found your friend. <laughs> However, both of you are still stuck here. It's fine. The two of us will figure something out. We'll get Jude back to his normal self and find our way home to Riza Maxia. Good yeah. luck. Oh, do you want to come along too? You know this Pengyon? Yeah, for some reason I've taken quite a liking to him. Something about him just feels familiar. <laughs> I suppose so. Oh well. <sighs> well, gone. that was weird. Is it really okay to let them leave? What do you say, Aizen? Do you think Mila is connected to the Empyreans? No. Her arts felt fundamentally different from the ones we Malakim use. That's Agreed. good to know. I think I might actually believe they came from another world. In that case, we can let them be. Since she took down that exorcist, I don't think we need to worry about her joining forces with the Abbey. Yeah, That's good to know. but couldn't she still join our side? I wonder. 
I feel like she might be a bit out of our league. I don't know. I think you two have more in common than you'd care to admit. <laughs> we should leave them be. <laughs> Besides, if they came with us, Eleanor might try to eat Jude. I would <laughs> not! <laughs> oh, brother. Whoa! Increase the maximum level of wish equipment can be a chance to level 10. Oh, Mini Mila! You know what? Oh my word. Oh my word, that looks so much better. Now we have a mini Leah, a mini Mila at our side. I kind of like the mini Mila instead than Jude. Well, there's a couple of more quests and then we'll be on our way. Alright. Actually, I want to make sure that I got all the quests done, so let me check Logrith. Nothing in Logrith. Final Island, Aharia, Yuzolt. Nothing in Yuzolt, which is good. Tabal. Nothing in Tabal. A ball. Nothing in the ball. Louise, Bersley. I don't think there's anything in Bersley, so I think they're good. Port Zexon. It's always best to check everywhere just to be on the safe side. Hmm. Four class islands. Stoneberry, maybe? Okay, there's a chance I didn't open in Stoneberry. Next stop, Logris. Actually, let me check Logress. Mm. No, no, no. Nothing. Okay. Nothing here. Okay. Apollo Plains, the mountain's peak. Figures. <laughs> Actually, this is gonna take too long, so let's just go to Stonebury. A storm! This is it, everyone. Understood. So this is it. We're about to fight the dragon. to have a bunch of souls to spend. Just to be on the safe side. Believe me, I've already been through so much. I don't want to lose another another progress. Okay, time to hunt down a dragon. Well, look, it's a beat and the dragon. <laughs> this takes me back. I remember the first time I tried to talk to you. You smacked me pretty good then, too. 
a vein. Man, that hurts. <laughs> you sure don't know how to hold back, do you? <laughs> Just watch. What? So, you're just waiting for me to die so you can help yourself to her heart. Is that it? Sorry, but that's not happening. I'm not dying here, and I won't let you kill her. I'll decide what I do, Zavid. Yeah. <laughs> Well, then I'm deciding to help Savid. No matter what you tell me, Ivan. Savid! This dragon wouldn't hesitate to attack a child, or the man who risks his own life to protect it. Oh. <laughs> tell me, Savid. Who is this white horn dragon? <sighs> You said that your creed was to never give up on living, no matter what may happen. If you really believe oh. that, would you say that you're living right now? Because to me, you don't look like someone truly living. That is true. What the hell are you saying? I understand now. Aizen really isn't the one who's cursed. By killing Theodora, he's actually saving... Zavid! It's time to lift this curse. We're right behind you. I'll fight too! To save Zavid and Theodora! Watch out for the malevolence, Lofty said. You too, Aizen. Boy, fire! <laughs> Wow. No escape. Alright, here we go. Take this. That's all I need. Ouch. For Mark's sake. How can he reach me with such a long tail? Oh. I'll focus on healing. Alright. That fire again. 
Amazing it can extinguish that much malevolence. But yeah. the dragon... <sighs> Please! Turn back to normal! <laughs> I can do it! With this flame! You're only pushing yourself! David! It's over. Thank you. <sighs> the world? Good grief! Why didn't you break your Reaper's curse? What? Did you want me to eat its heart? Don't oh. answer a question with another question. <laughs> the Reaper's curse is mine to bear alone. The danger of becoming a dragon, however, is a curse upon all Malakim. Yeah. All that malevolence. It's going to take its toll on you, too. Yeah, I can already feel it starting. It won't be long before I wind up like her. You'll have to leave your pirate buddies before things turn ugly. I'm the first mate on Eifried's ship. So, to be honest, it's probably just as well. I'd rather end up a dragon than have this curse hijack my ship and my life anymore. Whoa. <sighs> How noble. But I do fear one thing. I'm afraid that when I turn into a dragon, I could end up hurting the very people I want to protect. Oh. Theodora couldn't even recognize anyone she loved anymore. You saved her, Aizen. By killing her. <clears throat> Before all this, Theodora was a kind woman. She never wanted yeah. to hurt people. And she loved more deeply than anyone I've ever known. Yeah. Sometimes to kill someone is to save them. <clears throat> you have someone that. you're trying to protect too, don't you? My little sister. What's she like? She's like an early blooming flower. Wise for her age. She's got it all together. <laughs> Sometimes has to treat me like I'm the kid. She cries too easily. But deep down, she's so strong. Sounds like someone I'd like to get to know better. Who knows? Maybe I'll even marry her. Zavid! Don't you worry. I won't make a move until I've killed you. Zavid, what are you saying? Consider it revenge for Theodora. I'll be the one who finally puts you out of your misery. <laughs> but I'll only kill you once you've stopped being yourself. Only then. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> I swear by my true name, Filk Zadea, Zavid the Oath Keeper. Oh, nice name. Ufemi Uwexu. That's my true name. I'll remember it. Is there really no other way? There must be something besides turning into a dragon or getting yourself killed, right? This is In why I like Levitas so much. What matters isn't whether we get killed or not. It's whether we can take control over the direction of our own lives. That's what it means to really be alive. <laughs> that sounds sad. And hard. Well, that's normal. But I understand. And I'm going to live life in my own way, too. <laughs> well then, I hope we'll see each other again. Where are you going? Wherever the wind takes me. Well, 
That's that. Unlocks level four minus goes to hard mode or above. Now I can finally upgrade other equipment of mine. And this is what I meant by I was upgrading some of these items because good grief. <sighs> Witch's Hunt is finally mastered. Hallelujah. Check up on how the family is. How are they doing? Oh, it's you! Thank you for everything you've done. Has Savid been by since last time? Yeah, actually. He finally dropped by here the other day. Ah, oh, it was great. We were all really happy to see him again. What about Theodora? She wasn't with him, but he made it sound like her problems were finally all resolved. He said they were going to travel together. Aww. But we don't feel lonely. Yeah, he said no matter how far apart we are, we'll always be together in our hearts, and they'll never forget us. He Aww. told us that we all share a strong bond. And it's all because... Because that's Zavid's way, right? Nuh-uh. It's because that's our family's way. All of us. <laughs> and it's a wonderful way to be. Yeah, that's what I think, too. <laughs> Zavid told us that because he has family here, because he has somewhere to come home to, he'll be able to travel with an easy heart. And he left us with a huge pile of money. We that told him like we didn't know what to do with it all, and he just laughed. He said we could use the money to grow our family even more. If you ever see Zavid on your travels, please give him a message. Tell him you'll always have a home here. Of course. We'll make sure to pass it on to him. <laughs> see ya! We got orders from headquarters. They want us to boost security for the transport unit. But the transport's got more than enough as it is. A few days back, a Gauld convoy got raided. They lost everything, down to the last coin. Thankfully, no one was killed, but the raid was such a clean job. HQ thinks it must have been the work of a pro. The yep. demons already have us stretched thin enough, and now we have to deal with bandits on top of that? Zavid. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Swimwear, eyes, finally! Scout. Alright. Now, is there any more side quests for me to do? Or is that all of them? Alright. Hello? No, nothing in the ball. Heloise? No, nothing in Heloise. Port Sexton? No, nothing in Port Sexton. I'll check out to see where else I can go for me to complete some quests because I feel like there's more. After all, there is. Well. How do I put it? There is that I there is the island where Silva was dead at. Hello. All 
right? Let's just hang up for a sec. Nope. Nothing new in Titania, which is good. Alright, let's take a look at what we can go. Tranquility Woods. Oh! Okay, next stop a ball. Why on earth do we have to go back to the... Oh, never mind. Mm. Ugh, I got the hiccups. Whew. I hate when that happens. Oh my word. Yep, they're bad. Whew, I hate the hiccups so much. Wait, do we have to pour back in there? Oh yeah, I also found a catch chest, but why do we have to go back? Ugh. I'm gonna hate this. What if it's not that? What if it's the pit itself? Both the oh. opening and the advent began here. This is where the me before I was born died. And yeah. it's where Lord Artorius sacrificed Velvet's brother. Hmm. The former leader of the exorcists and Melchior searched high and low for the resting place of Inominat, the nameless Empyrean. No wonder they never found it. Who'd have thought he'd be sealed away out here in the middle of nowhere? And these patterns. They're similar to those I've seen in foreign temples. Built during the era of darkness. That's some good mm. camouflage. I doubt Artorius realized the true purpose of this shrine until he witnessed Inominot's power firsthand. Maybe. Hey, can we seal Inominot back in here? No, no, we can't. I can't detect even a trace of the original seal's art. Me neither. But I can tell you this is the Earth Pulse point. Oh well. If a cat's already out of the bag, it won't go back in. Believe me, I've tried. Even if there was a way to seal him here again, I wouldn't do it. I want to settle things with the Nominot my way. That's nice to know. So that's what I was supposed to do. Who funk? Alright, let's see. We took care of that. Morg's wood. Uh, Titania, Forger Ike's caps, Heloise. Melchior. Shoot, I forgot to do her. Mm, forgot to do that. Uh, Reneed. Nothing in Reneed. Nothing here. Definitely nothing in Lograth. Surprisingly. Uh, Port Sexton. Nothing in Port Sexton. Lograth, maybe? No, not like a Logris. Hmm. I just heard a weird hum on my headphones. Please tell me that's not a bad sign. Oh! Stonebury, okay. Yet of a God Ruins. I'm never going back there again. For mm, Candix, always check every trace. Yazult. Oh, there's some question marks in Yazult. Good, good, good. How about Haria? Anything in Haria? No, nothing in Haria. Cat's Corner? Norman Island. Okay, so we have two options. We have... Okay, fine, I'll go back to a ball. We have... Hmm. 
let's head to Stonebury first. What the? Another hunting team sent to Hexen Isle was wiped out. Maybe we really are. Quit your whining. We don't take out that dragon. We'll... We're operating under the direct order of Lord. But how can we hope to complete our mission without Lord Shigure and the other legate? There's a dragon on Hexen Isle. Perhaps the one that was caught in the Calyx got loose? I don't think so. It sounds like the one we fought some time ago. Silva. It has to be Silva. Rain it in, kiddo. That dragon is bad news. I rather like not being a smear on the ground or a slowly dissolving mass inside a dragon's digestive tract. We'd best leave it be. Oh. What? Do you feel obligated to help him? Not exactly. Even when we were together, we never talked. I mean, uh. we didn't have any feelings or free thought. We were just... there. If you'd taken him with you instead of me, I'd probably have turned into a dragon by now myself. True. He's beyond saving, but at the very least, I want him to be at peace. It's your funeral. I'll stick around to clean up what's left. I'll go too. Me too. I'm in. Everyone deserves closure. Oh, to be young and fearless. You do realize if we lose, there won't even be any dental records left to identify us by. <laughs> well, that's life. 200 cats. Okay, so all these Hexen Island. But I want to go to the, um... Yazult, because there was a little chap bubble there and I remember seeing it. Ah, all the way over there. Any other areas? Okay, good. Let's go. Next stop, Hex and Isle. I just realized, after I complete all these quests here, we'll be approaching to the end of the game. All that's left is just to take down Lord Artorias and... That'll be it. Game over. We have made a lot of travels together. I guess this is where we're gonna end our journey, I take huh? it you're a Bloodwing. Yeah. I heard a treasure chest washed up on the rocks of Manan. And get this. A treasure chest? If it won't open, what if- The Abbey's thrown who knows how many Praetors at it. And not only- Ooh, no. It might be treasure from- Hmm? Hush. <sighs> I don't see why I should care about- what was that about, oh. Aizen? You know something about that treasure chest, don't you? I think it probably drifted here from the far continent. Wow! Oh. Really? So what we should check it out. Say that? It sounds just like something I saw when I was there. Oh, oh, do go on. I'm all ears. Let's go give it a look. If we really can't get it to open, I'll cut right through it. That won't be necessary. I know how to open it. In fact, Eifried was the one who figured it out. Uh, what? Now I get it. Is that where he found... Yeah. That's where he found Siegfried. If that's oh. true, I'd hate to let the Abbey or the Bloodwings get their hands on whatever's inside. Off to Manon we go. Relics of... Manon's Reef. <sighs> So, where is it? Oh! It's actually on the- Oh... The area where I took the wrong turn. Yay! Wait, wait, actually re give me remembrance of my stupidity. I mean, I'm already stupid, but that's just going a little too far. Oh well. Off to Menon. Oh, you don't. Why am I doing this the long way? I need to take the shortcut. Get out of my way! Alright, let's go. <sighs> 
Now I can get the chest of Stoneberry, which will save me a lot of time. He's in the cent- it's in the central, so... We have to go this way. No flowers. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Chest. Oh, here we go. Oh, I have to go through the end. Is that the treasure chest from the far continent? All right, how do you open it? Right then. Aizen, how do we go about opening it? Hmm. Well, I'd still be happy to cut it open, you know. Don't. Doesn't look possible. You'll probably end up cutting what's inside. There's a password. It means wealth in the language of the far continent. A password? Von Eltia. What? What? That's all it took? Talk about anticlimactic. I didn't know the ship's name came from the far continent. Yeah. An engineer who helped design the ship was familiar with technology from there. He oh. probably supplied the name. And by that bizarre twist of fate, Siegfried came into Eifried's hands. So what's inside? I know. Anything interesting? It's a book. Oh, a that's book. so lame. You're killing me here. It's really old, but it's written in a language I can read. It's titled... Research notes on Siegfried and its special abilities. Oh. Wait, so it's like a manual for using Siegfried? Yeah, some of it's missing, but I'm pretty sure. Another twist of fate! Fee, keep going. Let's hear more. Believed to be a relic from the Avarost period, Siegfried utilizes an embedded formula to enable its wielder to manipulate mana. The uh -huh. commonly held belief is that Siegfried can alter, and thereby amplify, the mana of its host. But this oh. is only its most basic capability, which is utilized to initiate and control its true functions. Its so true what functions? Do? Does that mean it can do more? It looks that way. Our analysis suggests that Siegfried was originally created as a specialized anti-dragon weapon. Anti-dragon oh weapons? The plot thickens. To that end, Siegfried can fire volitional bullets that bestow certain special effects upon its targets. These bullets, made from crystallized mana, can cause disabilities depending on the intent with which they have been imbued. Known bullet varieties include one that can sever power links and one capable of temporarily blocking out the influence of malevolence. Bullets that block malevolence, huh? Does it Impressive. say what these bullets are? Um, no. Sorry, the rest is too worn to read. That's all right. Hmm. Mm. We can't be sure if it's true or not, but it sounds plausible at least. Aizen, how about we go looking for those bullets? No, mm. I have no need for them. But if you have them, you could... I have other things I need to worry about. And anyway, Siegfried belongs to Zavid now. Lafayette, next time you see him, I want you to tell him what you read. Are you right. sure? Please. I have a feeling he'll track those bullets down. Even if he has to cross the whole world looking for them. All right. I'll tell him. I promise. Lo, is this another twist of fate in the making? But how, oh, how will it turn out? <sighs> Can't you be serious <laughs> just once in your life? I think she's just mm -hmm. saying Aizen's doing the right thing, in her own weird way. And Possibly. it's true that nobody knows what the future holds. That's for sure. And I like it that way. Do you Agreed. really mean that? I do. It would be pretty boring to know everything that's coming, don't you think? True. <laughs> that's fair. 
No, she's not wrong. But where am I gonna find... S well, we have the manual, so where am I gonna find Zavid? Maybe in Stonebury? Hmm. Oh, Griff. I need... Mm. There's Kamawana's quest. Beardsley. Heloise. Hmm. A ball, maybe? Talon. He's not at his home, so... The Island of Terror. Cat's Corner. Nothing. Lionel Island. Hell, no sense staying here any longer. Might as well just get going. I was looking forward to actually giving him the book. It might actually help him strengthen his Siegfried. Most of the red coat demons have been dealt with. Alright. Titanium. Alright. Hex and Nile. It's been so long since I've been here. Jeez. <laughs> The Island of the Mullikins. Impressive. Wow, there's a bunch of souls here as well! There's also a ton of souls here! This will be a perfect place, just like... This place is just like the... Pl the cave! When we fought... When we held Lu... Majulu! Of course. Of course. Of course! Of course! Why, 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 why wouldn't they have something like that? Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? Why, why, why wouldn't they? I want to take a look around before I do anything else. I think this is the island where we escaped from. And who would have thought that this would be where Silva kicked the bucket? Well. Bye. <laughs> the poor girl! Good grief, this place is full of souls! It. All right, let's open this chest down here since, well, why not? I found another cat! And since we're on this island, it's probably gonna be safe if we just save here for a sec. So we earned this one. Call it insurance. Okay. Baba. All right. There's Silva. 
Looks like he's recovered all right. Oh, come on! Give us a break already! I bet even Enominat couldn't stop this thing! Then this'll be the perfect warm-up. You just gave Am him a Am I boost. just imagining things? Or does he look like he's even stronger? It isn't your imagination. It looks like he's absorbing the malevolence from all around the Calyx. There's still time to run if you want to. This dragon is no joke. We have to fight it. I'm sorry, Silva. I used you so I could escape. But this time, I won't run away. You're going down, Silva! Silva. No Let's tricks! Just a straight up battle! Boy, fire! Blast away the shadows of darkness! Let us go! Die! Blast away the shadows of darkness! Let us go! We're gonna need a water element, Magalu. Think you can dodge? Just try. Magalu. Wait, Isa has water ability, so. I dodged it! Oh, come on! I got you. Shield wasn't even enough? 
A meteor shower? I dodged it! Nice! Oh, nice! I have a low controller. Oh, I almost dodged it. more than I do. Remembered something. What? One time, when Lady Teresa was punishing me, Silva stood right by my side, just like this. He didn't say a word, but his presence was a comfort. Aww. I see. Sorry, Silva. And Velvet, back at Helavis. Thanks for taking me with you and getting me out of there. Aww. Uh, that was basically kidnapping, really. <laughs> Maybe, but I want to thank you all the same. You don't have to, Fee. Really. You've come a long way. That's because you put in the effort, not me. <laughs> the sensation. Is the calyx still functional? Well, seems we're done here. I wouldn't be so sure about that if I were you. What? What do you mean? The Calyx is a series of ancient ruins unearthed and brought back to life by Melchior. But now that he's kicked the bucket, Artorius might be the only one who can actually control the place. Oh, you know, you can never be too sure of what the future holds, right? That's all I meant. <laughs> I never thought about it. If the Calyx is still inactive... Take a look at this. Oh, nice. I like this better. Well, now since letting a bunch of souls go to waste. And oh. Well, no, why not? Bring it on. You're so Put on. Oh, 
Oh no, you don't. absorbing damage, like this, she's basically invincible. Look, Marie! She's basically... Oh, what's this? Even more powerful. Whereas one is until the character wearing a cup of the hazard and chance. I'll come and show 25, 45 or more. Alright! Phew! Talk about intense! Oh, sorry. My bad. Fatigue ward. Why not? Slow ward. What is it? Ward, fatigue ward, force ring. Let's. <sighs> I gotta admit, that wasn't actually a bad fight. But I'm guessing we're at the end. I was hoping to go a little farther, but I guess all great things come to an end, huh? Oh, we can't go back. Oh, but I can grab these. Hmm. What's up to the cat's corner? Demon in the Crimson Moon. Oh, never mind. It just... It just shows us all the movies we had before. Uh, etc. Oh. I miss a lot. Let's 
sub. Velvet, Mygalu, Eleanor, and Lafisa. There's another one I missed. So I guess there is more that I missed. Oh shoot, I used my last one. It's a good thing I spawned here. Excuse me, I'd like to buy some more... ...abattles. Thank you. Let's see... I'm trying to see what areas that I missed. Because I'm trying to make sure that I got every single inch of the area. Like, I got... All the main side quests. Except for the one about Kamawana. Okay, let's just go to Melchior, just to be on the safe side. And Cardo is still up there. Alright, let's go. There was that one area that I never did check. And it was up here, and it was over here next to the Empyrean's throne. Let's go check that out. Oh, what the? There's nothing in the sanctuary. Two chats up above? Okay, um, let's just go check them out. Let's check the first one. I think that a couple of a couple of episodes ago, this was this area was full of pain and misery. Now. Oh, you're Molokins! You're the ones who liberated us from Inominat's domain, right? I want to thank- You really don't have to do that. I was just acting in my own interests. If any Molokins still get in my way- Hey, hold up! Most of us are under the influence of Inominat's power, and have been robbed of our free- The majority of Molokins are too afraid of malevolence to even go before Inominat's interference. We that doesn't matter to me. We get what you're saying, but if we go easy on anybody, then we'll be the one. If you truly want to protect your friends... Mm. Wouldn't you agree that having free will means choosing the path you believe in? I suppose you're right. And that's why we too will work toward the future. In order to achieve a perfect fusion of human and Moloch power, the Abbey gave Armadi a physical form. Specifically, their vessels embedded with a formula that can manipulate mana. They call these objects divine. Is that what that boat? Yes. This is one of the- We've decided we want to pass on the knowledge behind the divine artifacts and armatization oh. to future generations. Why would you want to do that? We want to enable humans and molecules. What? In its current oh. form, armatization is a one-sided process, allowing a human to exploit a molecule. But imagine if humans and molecules could armatize with mutual awareness and consent. It could provide just the edge our people need. To battle the great forces like the Lord of Calamity. Well, do what you. It's another potential for the future. Yes. But I have one warning for you. The divine art. You know what that means to. Artorius himself will use the divine artifact for the good of the future. We'll pray for your. Thank you. All right, on to the next bubble. What did that one has? I may not look like I'm excited, but believe me. I am. It's just that when you're literally playing at 4 o'clock in the morning, it's just gonna be hard to find that impressive. Or enjoyable. I guess you could say I got my days and nights mixed up, so... Huh, it's gonna be a pain. A pain! Alright. 
go take a look. <laughs> now what's so fabulous about this chat bubble? Oh, you're a cat. Hi there. If you need scratch for your trip, then look no further than Lost Cats' Corner Store. What? No white turtle? Maybe he caught a cold and decided to... Just the opposite, Meow. You might even say he's seen the truth of this crazy... What are you going on? Whatever it is. Then you should visit Cats... I heard there's a turtles there waiting for you guys to... Cats Corner, huh? Cats Corner? <laughs> Why would they be all the way at Cat's Corner? Yeah, oh. Oh dear. Toidles in the house. What's that song? Toidles. Everyone loves them toidles. It's called the Hymn of Toidles. It's an old family song. A Why real is this whistle from deep? The past. It's a cursed song. One meant to put chills down your spines. But it's almost a waste of things to use, pipsqueaks. What? I don't understand a word you're saying. You I think will soon enough. Trust me. You like how nice and dark this shell is? Hold on, are you white turtles? You've turned down a dark path. Probably the because path of us. You all sent me down. We did? Well done. Yeah. And now I'm gonna cook you a new one. Cook him a new one? Why? And not just laugh is it. I'm gonna cook you a new one too, sister. And Rokiro and Aizen and Magalu. You guys are getting cooked too. I'm up to my shell in debts. And it's all because of you guys and your discounts. Ah. I'm so in the reds. I got sold off to be made into turtle soup. They were dressing me up with spices and everything. Planning to make a whole feast out of me. I still don't understand a word you're saying. I understand perfectly. I want it all back. I want the good old days when I was young and but now my heart and shell, they's all gone dark as the soy sauce I was marinated in. Yes. Now I am Dark Toidles! Because of you, my old life is gone forever. What'd you expect from the Lord of Clam? Could you hurry? Rock and roll! That must have been quite the soy sauce. It was! Soon, you'll all end up this way too! I'm going to boil and stew you all! Every last one of you! Ouch! I'm gonna need a soul bottle because this is pathetic. Oh, what the? What did I do? I'm be mucking leavable. But still, he's not- he's not that good part of the phoenix, but still, he's impeccable! Oh, well, because that's a poor- that's not gonna happen, not gonna happen! Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Please take care of him, my- oh, girl, I don't want to deal with him. Oh, he's not coming towards me, good. There he is! Oh my word! 
That turtle's not gonna let that happen. Okay. Come on. There. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, what the? He turned over the. Turn real girl into a sushi. Got him. Come on, 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 come on. Gotcha, Velvet. Come on, Velvet. I got you. Ouch! If we knew he was this strong, we would actually hire him to work alongside with us as an ally. Jeez. I got to get this all the time. Goodbye. All one. Oh my healing. I need to heal myself, thank you. That's not gonna help me. This. You want to fight? Stay here. Have your fight. And here's the icing on the cake. Oh no, you don't. All right, here we go. And Eleanor. Oh good, the new run car. Mr. Guard, here's your justice! Why in order! Stay shine next time. Uh, my body, it feels salty yet sweet. This is it then. Careful, Velvet. If you eat too much salt all at once, your blood pressure will go through the roof. She's Truly, not wrong. he's not a very appetizing color. Though he does remind me of those noodles from East Gand. I wasn't actually going to eat him. Although we do like our flavors thick in East Gand. You no. guys just don't get it, do you? The flavor's packed in, but I'm still low in sodium. And with plenty of omega-3s, I'm good for your skin twos. More pride than sense. It's not oh. like I wants to tell you all this, but I've been marinated so much. I've got no life ahead of me but to become the best stews anyone's ever tasted. <laughs> <laughs>
Velvet, don't make the guy cry. How is any of this my fault? Simmer down, Meow! Don't worry, Dark Turtles. You're not cooked yet, Meow. As long as you don't lose hope, a better tomorrow is sure to come along, Meow. Your words are too kind. It's like more salt on my wounds. <laughs> it sounds like what you need is the cat's pajamas, Meow. The what? Cat's pajamas? It's a fun place to unwind, have a few drinks with friends, and cleanse the soul of all life's problems, Meow. Can it really cleanse any soul? Even one as dark from soys as mine. Where there's a will, there's a way. It's not a matter of can or can't, meow. The cat's pajamas is where go-getters can get together. And grown-ups only. You have to be 2,000 to enter, meow. 2,000! Ah, that's no good. I'm just a 999-year-old juvenile. Ah, with turtles, nobody can tell the difference anyway, meow. Don't sweat the small stuff. That's the key to getting the most out of cat's pajamas and really your life as a whole. Meow. Take that to heart and you can tell everyone you've got the inner wisdom of a 9,999-year-old. Meow. Eh? How's that good? You know, I think I'm starting to feel ready to take on the world again like I used to. I'll give this cat's pajamas a shot and see if it can cleanse my soul. Sounds great, Meow. Allow me to show you around, Dark Turtles. We'll get you set up with all sorts of nice drinks, Meow. So, what is the cat's pajamas? Well, Eleanor, I haven't the slightest idea. It sounds like a good time. We should go and check it out. Let's no. not. That's not a path worth going down. Yeah. After all that, I still have no idea what the point was. Maybe there wasn't one to begin with. Oh no. I think today's events hold some significance. How? Just what'll become of that turtle's heart after the cleansing, though, is hard to say. That is kind of concerning. <laughs> Huggable Sophie, Sophie at your side, for those who know a woman. Oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sophie at your side, for those who. <laughs> okay, that was a little mild disturbing. <laughs> Oh, don't be. Let him have all the time he wants. Let him go in there for a... <laughs> Let's get out of here. Well, that's it. No more side quests. All that's left is just to open some of the catch chests that I miss. But there's one thing that still holds me... This holds me puzzled. What is the last... Class 4 Island. This is the last one. But nobody knows what it is, huh? Well, all I can say is that I've reached to the conclusion of this series. Now, onward to the final area, otherwise known as the Empyrean Throne. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button. It really means a lot to me if you do that. Also subscribe. Totally free. Really? Hold it. <sighs> Next on Titania. It's always best to go through these things just in case you might find something secrets. Hey, don't look good, sir. Oh, yes, please. Dial, Medissa wants to use some octopus demon to make dinner tonight. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Wait, haven't I already seen this? Come on. Yeah. I think I've already seen it. Did I already record that? I hope I didn't make a big boo boo. A lot convenient. Kleagle Island, huh? Thank <laughs> you.
Scout ship. Let's see. Just two more after. Just four more after this one. Hmm. Should I circle around to actually let that happen, or should I just go on with my life? Well, all I know is that we finally reach. We finally reach it to the climax. So. Well, we are reaching to the end, so... Topaz Ribbon... Alright. I'm trying to check out all the other areas that I missed, like Heloise, see if there's anything left. Beardsley, no, nothing. Melchior? Mauricio, not Melchior, what am I saying? Uh, Renid, that quest is done. We made the Omega Elixir. I honestly believe we finally reached to... I think we did it! I think we actually completed the game. If there is something else I'm missing, um, let me know in the comments down below so that way I can actually try finishing it in the future for now, so that way I won't have to miss it next time. But for now, I'm just gonna have to end this video here because, well, we, there's nothing else to do but go, I guess. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button. It really means a lot to me if you do that. Also subscribe totally free. Really? Free! Join the good of the day, wherever you're at. Check out some other videos you YouTube think I might like. And as always, I'll see y'all on the next coming video. Let's we'll see what happens next on Tales of Azuria. The fi- What could possibly be the final chapter of this entire game. Next stop, Zexon. What's beyond Zexon? What will we wait for us in the Empyrean Throne? Only time will tell. The final battle to face Lord Artorius has come to its rightful climax. Will we survive or will we fail? I might actually, ch I could have actually completed some of the other cats quests, rescue some of the other cats, but uh, I'm gonna have to say eh, because this series has gone long enough and I think it's about time it reached to its proper ending. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see y'all in the next coming video. Let us put an end to this series with dignity and grace. So, actually, let me check and see if that's all of them. Oh, I'm saving. <laughs> My bad. I spent over 56 hours in this game. I deserve- This game deserves to finally be put to rest. You can't- You can't deny it. But this game has gone long enough. And there's not another demon left. I managed to beat them all. Finally, it took so long. And if there was by chance any other demon that I did miss, uh, I don't know, who knows. But all I know is that I already got the pirate's brush, but I didn't say I don't have it. All I know is that it's over. We won, the game is complete. Well, semi-complete, but hey, at least we completed it. At least we tried our best. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just gonna go. Goodbye, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Shut, stay shut in my dumb I know I'm starting to feel dull. Well, on voyage.